Lisa. It's Friday morning, um, Friday the 13th. This is, I left Majenga July 1st. So it took this time for me to be able to get settled in my place. I spent my first night in my new place. So you see those are the cell towers. Salama. Those are the Cabernets. Now the cell tower, there's three of them here actually. So this is my place. They just built this fence for me. And so we're gonna go on in and I'll show you how things are so far. Still a lot of work to be done. That gate there is gonna go right here. Okay. So walking in, um, this is my kitchen. And you see how high these ceilings are? They go way up there. And this one doesn't even go all the way because there's a hallway on the other side. Anyway, so I got up there yesterday with the ladder and put two screws up top and hung the string. So I've got instant storage. Yeah, they're crooked and this is gonna drive me crazy. So eventually I will get in there and straighten them out. Uh, this little um, stand was already there. So I just got some boards and that's where I washed my dishes. See my cool little paper towel holder? Um, these screws were already there, so I just made another instant shelf from all the leftover lumber because these guys are doing a lot of building. Uh, more screws were there. My refrigerator is wide open because it's not running. Uh, my solar system is enough to run my phone, my iPad, my laptop, but not. I have a 40 watt refrigerator and I have a 20 watt solar panel, which I'll show you later, and a 12 volt motorcycle battery. So I have to get a car battery and a bigger panel and then I'll be fine. So this is, I gotta figure out more storage. Um, I actually cooked popcorn for dinner last night and breakfast again this morning. Um, I love popcorn with nutritional yeast on it, it's wonderful. Um, I just tired, I was so tired last night. So this is my kitchen. This is kind of, this is my front door. And you see, this goes all the way up and up at the top, I've got wood, a wood ceiling uh, against a metal roof. Okay, so the world's worst painter, you see his work? That's from yesterday. You gotta love this guy. And we don't need no stinking drop cloths. Yeah, okay, so coming on in, my dirty clothes, hamper. Um, this is my bedroom right now. It's gonna become my living room. But I have a bed frame that actually fits my mattress. The one I left behind in Majega, the bed frame was smaller than the mattress and the mattress sat on top of it. So you see my, my neck, it's hanging from here. My, my, um, my mosquito net. Yesterday I asked my driver, Andre, who I adore, to please hang my net. So I'm busy trying to get things unpacked and organized, so I don't really pay attention to what he's doing. So I came in here, he had put two screws against this wall here and two against that wall and just strung the net straight across. So in order to get to the window, you'd have to go underneath the net. So I came in here and said, Andrew, you know this isn't gonna work. You're gonna have to get up there and hang it from the ceiling. Oh, Mama Lisa, I love a bay. It's too tall. I'm like, okay. So I went outside. There was a tall ladder um, just sitting against the, the, the building on the other side and I dragged it all. It's not that ladder there, that's a smaller ladder. And I dragged it all the way back here. And when I got back here, one of the guys helped me. We prodded through the window. And Andrew, he's so fancy fancy. He got one of the other guys to actually do the work. And he just stood here and held the ladder for him. Love him. So these little seats I inherited. And there's a love seat to go with it. And the cushions um, just need to be recovered. So I'm gonna do all new covers. So that's gonna be part of my living furniture. Okay, this is what is going to be my shower. And the world's worst painter was in there last night, uh, painting in the dark. I offered him one of my solar lights. This is, oh, I don't need it. Yeah, you don't because you do such a shitty job. Problem with my Ladusi, which is a shower, is there's a drain. I know it's hard for you to see. I'm gonna to try. There's a drain on the floor against that far wall. And when you throw water at it, the water actually rushes back toward the door because it's sloping the wrong way. So they're going to have to lay a whole new floor for me today before the Peace Corps leaves. And um, so that I, it's usable because right now it's not usable. Okay, so this is the second room that we had to negotiate with the owner 
for me to be able to use because they said no she gets a Leducey in the kitchen and this room I'm like no I need more space so this is going to become my bedroom right now it's my staging room um, and you see this ceiling I don't have the wood it's just the bare metal roof and you see those holes of sunlight coming in you see the water dripping down the wall and you see the water on the floor well the Peace Corps is going to require them to patch the roof before they leave or give them a timeline of when it will be done um, so I got all new shutters uh, this table came with it I can use this for sewing for jigsaw puzzles for lots of stuff my table that I bought with me from Mojinga got scratched up terribly in the move so sick about this because I paid a lot of money for this set. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to refinish it. I'm gonna have to refinish it. Uh, okay, so um, looking outside, wonderful view, another cell tower, uh, another cabinet, and it's just very lush and verdant and green here. And um, I'm just loving it. It's it's not as warm as Mojinga, but I just feel very, very, very peaceful, very happy here. Okay?